On FBC News tonight, Namosi joint venture spends close to $200 million in exploration and proposed copper mine in Namosi. Weather Office steps up monitoring as tropical disturbance located near Vanuatu and domestic violence costing government millions of dollars each year. Good evening, I'm Jackie Spade. The Namosi joint venture has spent close to $200 million in copper exploration works in the highlands of Namosi and Waindina in Naitasiri. This includes a $1.1 million compensation payout to landowners and over $200,000 financial assistance to respective Matangalis. And as Mika Longa reports, NJV plans to employ around 2,000 people, 80% of whom are landowners in its construction and operational jobs. NJV country manager Greg Morris led the media tour today to see for the first time the project sites and operations at Waivaka and Waisoi in Namosi. Morris explains that three rigs are assisting with exploration until March 2015 under a special prospecting license issued by government. The rigs are drilling rock to check for copper at the Waivaka corridor, here at Waisoi and in the Wanandavu mountains. NJV has so far drilled 50 kilometres into the earth. Since uh, NJV uh, has been here since 2008, we've spent in the order of uh, 170 plus million dollars on our exploration and project studies programs. NJV plans to pump in a total of $2 billion into this project. However, this will depend on the government's approval of the Environment Impact Assessment, NJV's final decision to mine the hills and issuing of a mining permit by the government. Maury says while landowners have a right to be concerned with environmental impacts of mining, when it starts, NJV will do all it can to resolve the issue in the EIA. I should say that uh, we won't be using mercury and we won't be using cyanide, so those, those chemicals which people have that, uh, that fear of uh, are not part of the, uh, the processing option here. Well, we use a couple of um, basic chemicals which are commonly used in the mining industry around the world. They're well managed and we, we have done it in many operations around the world to make sure that we don't um, put those chemicals into the waterways so they have a downstream impact. Today we were told by NJV that the company filters all water flowing from their drilling sites into the creeks and rivers. The pre-feasibility study works have discovered large quantities of copper with some gold deposits, giving NJV a clear picture for a way forward. Morris stressed so NJV hasn't started mining for copper, up. but rather is still carrying out pre-feasibility studies. The people of Namosi and Wendina should not start counting their dollars now. They will have to wait a little longer before they know if copper mining will start in their mountains. Mikalonga, FBC News. The Nandi Weather Office has stepped up monitoring after picking up a tropical disturbance just above Vanuatu. The system, which is slowly moving towards Fiji and is likely to form into a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours. Christopher Chand with the details. This system has been upgraded to a tropical depression. The weather office has already activated its cyclone department and the hydrology team is on standby should weather conditions worsen. Uh, even though it's still way away, we don't know what this thing will do in the next, um, on the days, um, to come but it's uh, good for for us to be prepared even though we're saying that it's going to pass well southwest of Fiji. At this stage the Nandi weather office predicts there's a possibility of it turning into a cyclone but poses no direct threat to Fiji. It's slow moving but it's also uh, also developing and uh, it has a a moderate probability of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours. The meteorology department is keeping a close eye on things to ensure the public is given enough warnings. Uh, during Thursday, it's expected to be passing well to the southwest of Fiji. Uh, and at that stage, uh, what we will be more concerned with is the uh, associated trough, uh, cloud and rain, which may be accompanied by some squally conditions. While there is a fair possibility of a tropical cyclone passing by in the next few days, people should take precaution. Christopher Chant, FBC News. Prime Minister Commodore Vorenge Mbaini Marama will lead a delegation to the Pacific ACP Leaders Meeting in Papua New Guinea in an effort to get Fiji back into the grouping. Fiji hasn't participated at the highest level meetings of trade and development with the Pacific ACP Group and the European Union since its suspension from the Pacific Islands Forum in 2009. 
Bainimarama will be attending the Pacific ACP Leaders Meeting in Port Moresby tomorrow. He is accompanied by the Foreign Affairs Minister Ratu Inoke Kumbombola, Attorney General Aya Said Kayum, and senior government officials. Bainimarama will return on Thursday morning and present the budget in the afternoon.